Scene safety, BSI. I'm going to determine what my nature of illness or mechanism of injury is at this time. Uh, I'm aware of difficulty breathing, shortness of breath. I see a 17-year-old male uh, sitting on my cat this time, not appearing to be in any distress. So at this time, my general impression is that he's relatively undistressed, hanging out or okay at this time. Sir, are you the person that called 911? Yes, I am. All right, are you the only patient that I'm here for? Yes. All right, so I have one patient at this time. Uh, I've got eight, can I request ALS for uh, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath. And then also, have you had any falls any recently? Do you have any neck pain, C-spine problems? No. So I'm going to rule out C-spine at this time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and again re-verbalize my general impression of the patient. I have a 17-year-old male who does not appear distressed, complaining of shortness of breath and difficulty breathing at this time. Uh, what's your name, sir? Logan. Logan. Logan is alert. He is talking to me. Uh, we'll get into GCS here in a few minutes, but at this time I know he's at least an A in the AVPU scale. So I'm going to go ahead and determine my chief complaints, my immediate life threats. I have a difficulty breathing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assess his airway. Can you open your mouth for me? All right, no swelling in the airway. My airway is open and patent. I'm also going to go ahead and assess breathing at this time. I do see equal chest rise and fall. Uh, he is breathing at a rate of about 12 per minute. I'm going to grab some quick lung sounds just to confirm. Lung sounds are clear bilaterally, anteriorly at this time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, again, so that's for the quality. I have good chest rise and fall, but I'm going to go ahead and put him on high flow O2, 15 liters per minute by a non breather. I'm going to give you some oxygen. It's going to help you breathe, feel better, okay? Okay. And lift your head for me. Tighten the sides. At that time, we'll continue with our assessment. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and check for a radial pulse. At this time, I feel a strong radial pulse at about 72 beats per minute. Uh, skin is warm and dry, and do I notice any major bleeds on this individual? At this time, I'm not seeing any major bleeds, and so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my assessment. Uh, he has a high-priority transport. Uh, he's going to transport him immediately to the most appropriate facility and attempt to meet with ALS while en route. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and move on with my assessment. Uh, OPQRST. Sir, when did this start? About 15 minutes ago. About 15 minutes? Okay, does anything make it better or worse if you move? Does it make it more comfortable if you sit down, anything like that? Uh, sitting down, leaning forward. Okay. Now, the quality of the difficulty breathing, do you feel like you've got any squeezing or anything? Tightness. Some tightness in your chest? Alright, does that tightness move anywhere? Uh, like a wrap around my back. Okay, wrap around your back. And then, uh, severity. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, would you say that this is... Have you ever had any difficulty breathing before? No. All right, so this is the first time you've had difficulty breathing? Yes. So from what you know right now, is this like difficulty breathing, like a 10 being the most difficult time you can imagine, or kind of a 1 just being kind of like so-so? Uh, I'd say a 5. All right. And then you said this has been going on for about 15 minutes. Yes. All right. So at this time, my sample history, uh, signs and symptoms, I have some shortness of breath, some chest tightness. Are you allergic to anything? No. All right. Did you take any medications? No. All right. Any past pertinent medical history? No. All right. What was your last oral intake? Uh, about no, six o'clock. About six o'clock. What did you have? Uh, some chicken and some uh, scallops. Chicken and scallops. Okay. And uh, what were you doing when all of this started? Uh, I was about to go uh, out on a run. You were about to go out on a run. Do you work out on a regular basis? Not particularly. Not on a regular basis. Okay. So at this time, a couple of things I think it could be going wrong. Uh, I would rule out that he'd have any immunological issues, uh, asthma, allergic reactions, uh, cardiac chest pain, breathing problems, uh, or any skeletal muscle issues. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what I think is the most obvious, and that's going to be a breathing issue. So I'm going to go ahead and auscultate some lung sounds real quick. I'm going to listen to four fields in the front, six fields in the back, so I'll have you sit up here in a second, okay? So, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Deep breath. Okay, very good. I'm going to help you sit up. All right, go ahead and sit right there. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. All right, this time my lung sounds are clear bilaterally. Go ahead and lay back. Thanks, Logan. My lung sounds are clear bilaterally. I don't hear any wheezes, uh, no vesicular lung sounds, otherwise or adventitious lung sounds. Uh, everything is pretty normal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and check and see if it's any muscular problems. Does it hurt when I push on you? No? Nothing hurt? Nope. Okay. 
And then I can't rule out cardiac overall because I don't have the capability or tools at this time. Uh, we do have some chest squeezing and some chest tightness, so we'll just go ahead and move on with that. Again, I'm going to reiterate that this is a high priority patient. Uh, was, this isn't a rapid transport. Uh, at this time, I want to go ahead and get a full set of vitals. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a blood pressure. Your charm for me? Thank you, sir. Put it on your arm. A blood pressure of 120 over 80 at this time. Uh, I also tated the pulse rate while I was listening, but I'm going to confirm. I heard about 70 beats per minute. I do confirm that his pulse rate is about 70 beats per minute, and then his respiratory rate is currently at 12. Uh, my field impression of the patient is again that he does have some shortness of breath, sudden onset 15 minutes ago, uh, and that he's got some squeezing around his chest. Uh, at this time, I'm going to continue my high flow O2, transport him, attempt to intercept with ALS. Carrying on with my assessment, uh, I would continue to monitor the patient every five minutes because at this time he does appear to be unstable. Um, however, he's not distressed, but because of my limitations as an EMT, I'm going to continue to monitor, continue to rapid transport, and I would give a report upon my arrival to ALS or to the hospital. Which be, I have a 17-year-old male. Uh, chief complaint today is going to be some chest pain, or excuse me, some shortness of breath, difficulty breathing with some chest pain, squeezing around the left side. Uh, onset was at rest. He was actually getting ready to go for a run. Nothing makes it better or worse. Uh, quality, again, he does have a squeeze. Severity, uh, he stated that it wasn't too bad. And again, time for 15 minutes. I have him on high flow O2, 15 liters per minute. Blood pressure is 120 over 80. Pulse rate 72. Respiration is 12, non labor. GCS at this time is 15. I'd go ahead and turn him over to uh, an advanced provider, and that's it.